there was a the rabbi had a, some shurim that someone reintroduced to us a few years ago, the tshuva of the chasm sofer, regarding bringing uh, Pesach, uh, Korban Pesach in our days, even without the temple. And he came up with uh, quite a few good arguments. Uh, and the bottom line was that, indeed, uh, Korban Pesach is a practical possibility. And the reason, Rabbi continued, we don't have Korban Pesach is like we've been saying, the regime does not allow it. Am Yisrael is just not ready. So Am Yisrael, the regime is sort of uh, a product of our group responsibility to organize ourselves. And as long as we're not organized properly, we will continue getting the type of government we deserve. That's the current one, unfortunately. So uh, it, it's not practical. But one of the considerations that Chasim Sofer discussed was you need a coin gadol and the proper vestments. And he came to the conclusion Perhaps not. Uh, I think that, as we saw, the Rambam would disagree with that uh, argument. It seems to the Rambam that in order to bring the Korbanot in a state of impurity, when the majority or the everybody is physically impure from contact with the dead, like we are, we need a Kohen Gadol present wearing his vestments, including the tzitz, in order for the sacrifices to be acceptable in God's eyes. So that's just a little bit of a consideration. Perhaps one day we should go through the entire Teshuvah and see where the disagreements are.